It's a momentous occasion. Who would have thought, especially in Jacksonville, I'm from New York, and when I first came down here three years ago, I couldn't believe people were still, you know, that closed up about freedom and individual rights, both gay and black and everything else. I'm here to volunteer, to help out with the weddings, do whatever I can to assist. It's important to me because this is a milestone. It's, it's part of history. It's something that we've been fighting for for years and we've finally been able to get married and, and enjoy life as, as normal families do. Well, I'm here to support all these fine folks that are getting married or have been married. Um, like my partner and I, we went ahead and got married in October of 2013 because we thought it'd never happen here. And so we just have to come down today and, and witness that it is happening. It, it, it seems surreal. Uh, yes, I feel married to Chet, and yet we're discovering, I guess, day to day what that really means, uh, especially when you thought it would never happen. And, and, and I, th I think way back in my mind, there's a little bit of that still there that needs to be brushed away. And day to day, you live your lives together and and rejoice in it. We're the First Coast Sisters. Um, we're here to support equal rights, to celebrate uh, marriage equality in Florida. We're actually an organization where um, we take vows for the community. We're postmodern nuns. If you ever heard of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, we are an aspirant group of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence here in Jackson. Do I think hearts are changing, minds are changing, and people are seeing that we're just like everyone else. Our purpose is to truly serve the community. We raise money for nonprofits in the area. We support them in any way we can. Um, we do education. We do HIV and AIDS outreach. Um, we have plans to help with domestic violence. Anything and everything that our community needs. <laughs>